Hey there you guys, this is Kid Trouble coming to you with on how to use Save Wizard to modify your saves. Um, doing this, it is very easy. All you need is a USB flash drive, a computer, and you need an activation key. If you don't have an activation key using Save Wizard, it would not work at all. But the there are two save wizards and the first one I'm going to show you is the save wizard for PS4 Max. This one I will recommend to you guys because you can use this, uh, you can use your saves outside of the US. Just say you live in Canada, you can use it. On the other save wizard you can't. And plus on this one you have three PSN IDs that you can use for your uh, three profiles. This one is $59.99 and if you want the save wizard for PS4 Max go download this file that you can use so you can put your activation key on there because if you use a save wizard for PS4 Max activation key for the other one it will not work so you want the for PS4 Max use use this file download right here There it goes showing you that is $59.99 to buy the activation key. And this is the list of all the games. And now I want to show you the other Say Wizard, which is Say Wizard for PS4. The only two differences that I could spot out was that you can only use your saves in the US. You can't use it in Canada or any other region. And that only has two PSN IDs. And it has the exactly the same list of games as it has on the other save wizard. There's a little description of it. And if you want this one, save wizard for PS4, go buy your activation key for the save wizard for PS4 and download this file right here. Like I, as I stated before, if you use the Save Wizard match with this Save Wizard right here, it would not work at all. I don't have to download it because I already have it, so I'm going to cancel it. And I want to show you um, that it is on Amazon. I bought mine off of Amazon. And I had to, they charged me with tax. So all together, it was like 60 something. And sometimes you might see currently unavailable, as I say right now, but give it like a couple of days or a couple of hours. Their servers might be down. So uh, they might be, they might be back up. Now I have plugged in my USB device into my PS4 and I will now get the save off of my PS4 and put it on the USB device. So you go to application save data management and you go here, 
to save data in storage system. Then you go to copy to USB storage device. And the game I will be copying is Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So you get both of those and you copy it. And you press yes. And sometimes you don't have to press apply to all. But this time I had to do it because I already had to save on my USB device. So if this is your first time, it would just start copying automatically. Then you go back. Now, whatever save wizard that you have downloaded, installed the package. In that case, I have the save wizard for PS4 and I have already installed the package. So when you very first get this icon right here, it will ask you um, for an activation key. All you have to do is type in the activation key that you have bought or they emailed you. And um, for me, it say invalid key, but it still worked for me afterwards. So you press OK. And there go all the games that you have seen previously on the Save Wizard website. So now we're going to settings and there you can see profile manager. It only has two PSN IDs. Uh, I don't mess with the other stuff. Um, now I'm going to uh, plug in my USB device. Should be loading. And there. You see how it changed? Now it's showing you the save games that you have on your USB device so now I'll be going to Dragon Ball Fighter Z which is the game that I'm going to modify so all you gotta do is click on it then click on it again and there you have it there are the items that you can modify in the game story mode there go all the characters you can give max experience to I don't think this works for arcade mode I think it just works for story mode so um, I'm just going to go to unlock all characters and all characters have max experience then get max zenny and max premium z coins then you press apply but before you press apply make sure that you have backed up all your saves if you don't want to you know overwrite your save that you have i think this have the backup feature for it and if you don't trust it you can just put it put your save on another flash drive press ok and it's one more thing that i want to show you guys uh, sometimes that sometimes you might have to play the game a little bit to get certain cheats for example I'm going to show you I think it's on I think it's on horizon click on that and see you have to have certain requirements to use the cheat for example, it say you must have the silent strike skill to use this cheat. So that means that you must, whenever you're playing Horizon, you have to have that skill in order to use the match skill points cheat. And for the match experience, you must have the silent strike skill and reach the level 12 to use this cheat. And to get the resources, you must have at least one resource. So that's a heads up in case you think that it's not working. You have to do that. Now we're going back to the game, go back to settings, go back to the same thing we just came from, application, save, data management.
This time we're going to save data on USB storage device. And we're going to copy to the system storage. We're going back to Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Get both of those, copy it, and press apply to all. Then we go back. And we start up the game. As you can see, we have Max Zenny. So let's go to the store and buy something. And see, we have Max Premium Z Coins. So go to uh, Buy Z Capsule. Oh, I messed up. Okay, let's buy with Zenny. Now we're by 10. And as you can see, it works. They're gonna items this. Now we're gonna buy with premium Z coins by 10. And as you can see, that works. So it's legit, you guys. It really do work. Now I will be going into a story mode. As you can see, I haven't hardly did anything in story mode. There are all the characters, and as you as you can see, the level is in uh, the negatives. So when you do a fight, it will automatically go up to level 100. Start a new game. Get ready for a Dragon Ball Rumble. to skip through the tutorial. There you have it, you guys. As you can see, he has leveled up to a level 100. So now I'm going to do another fight. Ready? Go! All right, give this a whirl. That's how it's done. Try this one next. Excellent work. One more time. One more time. There you have it you guys, if the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Not only I do say it was a gameplay, but I do a mixed range of gameplays. So thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.